Hey friends, it is me. Um, welcome to my Blackween vlog. So I am going to be one of the co-hosts for Blackween. Um, my area is going to be the Nora Apothecary area. So I figured I would do a little weekly vlog for the first week of Blackween. Mostly because this week I'm going to be doing a lot um, with some of the Blackween hosts. But also I plan to try and read through my TBR this week as well. Well, since I only have three books. So, we're just going to go from there. Um, just a little tidbit of what this week will look like. Um, so, I've already started the group book, which is Plot is Murder by VM Burns. So far, it's interesting. I'm willing, I think I'm going to enjoy it, hopefully. Um, and then I'll move on to the other two books. But also, this week, me and some of the co-hosts from Black Queen are going to be meeting up in real life and going to a cabin together and kind of just having a girls weekend and yeah shenanigans um so Monet and Shana are flying in on Wednesday which um maybe I will catch a glimpse of that we're all gonna go to dinner thir Wednesday night then Thursday is when we're gonna all drive up to the cabin and spend the rest of the weekend there so I'm going to take y'all along with me. Hopefully I remember to get some clips. Um, but also, I'm going to be working through my TBR as well. So, uh, we'll start with the group book. And then as I get past that, I'll introduce the rest of the TBR as the week goes on. So, hopefully this vlog is interesting. Hopefully it's sane and not chaotic. But we shall see. Hey friends, it is me checking in for the vlog. So, it's the next day, um, I read some of The Plot is Murder on the way home, and so far I'm 32% into the book, and so far it's actually pretty interesting, it's like, the lady is, uh, like a retired teacher trying to be a writer, so we're getting kind of like, a story within a story so on within her real life there's a murder that's happened and she's trying to solve it but then in the book that she's writing there's also a murder that's happened and they're also trying to solve that murder so it's like a two-parter so it's actually pretty pretty interesting so far I like the main character um, I like that she's teamed up with her grandma and her grandma has all her old lady friends helping out with the murder too and they got all the inside information and all that stuff so so far, pretty, so far, so good. Uh, Brie got me with this wreck, so I'm definitely intrigued to see who did it, who killed this person. So, that's my little update. Um, I'll update you when I get to maybe eat further into the book, or maybe almost finished. But yeah. Hey friends, it's me checking in on the vlog. So I finished... Well, I just got home from work, actually. But I did finish... The Plot is Murder by VM Burns, and I gave it 3.5 stars. Um, I actually really liked it. I thought it was really cute and cozy. Um, nothing too extravagant happened, and that's why I liked it. I like the fact that, like, it was a story within a story. So the main character, Sam, she is trying to um, become an author. So her husband just recently died, and she decided to go for her dreams and retire from teaching essentially or leave teaching and become a full-time writer along with opening up a bookshop slash like coffee shop or tea shop I believe um which was like a dream of her and her husband's so she does that and so as you're going through the story you're also getting glimpses of her story too so as there's a murder mystery going on in her real life there's a murder mystery going on in her story so it's kind of cool because you're getting like a double mystery of like a story within a story um but overall i liked it i found it fun it was cute it was funny um i like the fact that like her her sidekicks were the the old ladies from the retirement home that are friends with her grandmother so that was funny and i loved the like banter and the jokes so it all in all it was really good i think i might i actually want to continue the series too whenever i get the chance so love that for me that i found a new uh mystery cozy series to enjoy so i think the next book i'm going to start is my 
Mercury Space Book, and that is A Spell for Trouble by Esme Addison. Um, I don't know what this is about. I'm going to be completely honest, so I'm going to go in blind. Hoopla also has the audio for this, so I will be using them. Praise Hoopla. And I will update y'all once I start and with my initial thoughts and everything. Alright, bye. Also, I'm so excited because Monet and Chanel fly in tomorrow. So I'm just excited to see everybody. And then, like, we're going to go to dinner with everybody else uh, tomorrow night. And then we go to the cabin on Thursday. So I'm so, so excited. Um, I will hopefully have some, like, B-roll clips of that, maybe. So we'll see. We'll see how my brain works and if I remember. Hello, friends. It's me checking in. So, um, I started... A spell for trouble I think that's what it's called could totally be wrong but I think that's what it's called last night and so far it's actually really intriguing um, it's so far about this girl who uh, her father died and so she moved she goes to visit uh, her like aunt on her mother's side that she hasn't seen in like years because her father like never really wanted to be around them and while she's there, her aunt is accused of murder. So now she's trying to solve the murder and figure out, like, who really killed this person they think that her aunt killed. Um, and so far, it's it's cute. I like it. It's actually really interesting. And I feel like I'm waiting for, like, the magical element to come into play. But so far, so good. But I will update you guys um, once I read more. Um, also, today is the day that Monet and Chanel... Um, arrive so i'm currently about to just go sit in barnes noble for a little bit uh because their plane's gonna land in about like 30 ish minutes so and i'm like five minutes from the airport so i'm just gonna chill out and then go pick them up friends okay so quick update it is the next day um we are currently on our way to the cabin um we were running around all morning trying to get just last minute supplies and food and stuff so that's why i didn't get a chance to update yet but we just stopped at starbucks we're gonna stop at duncan to get some donuts and then we're gonna continue our drive um i haven't read any more of a spell for trouble um yet but I might plan to read some more tonight for that. Um, but yeah, so we're chilling. Monet and Chanel are here. Chanel, Monet is outside updating her vlog and Chanel is doing a little interview over there. So, so excited. Um, I think this is going to be a fun weekend. We went to dinner last night and like hung out at Robin's house. So that was really fun and I loved it. And yeah, I'm just like super excited for this trip and this weekend and just to see what happens next so we'll update you more later
Hey friends, it is me coming back to check in for the vlog. It's really cold, so I don't really want to even be sitting out here. I'm just trying to get some space away from everybody else just to film this real quick. But um, so far, the week has been good. This trip has been really fun. Um, I feel like the first week of Black Queen has been super successful for me too. So I've gotten a little bit further in A Spell for Trouble. And I'm definitely intrigued um, by the story and the mystery and who's like doing all this stuff to frame her aunt. Um, I'm also intrigued because there seems to get, there seems to be like a love triangle that's going to be happening between a guy who is magical and so he understands her magical side but then also uh, the other option is a guy who is human and who she seems to have like maybe a deeper connection with so yeah um so so far super intriguing but that's all i've gotten to do so far because we've just been relaxing and kind of spending time together and just having fun so i would update you guys more on the vlog um later all right bye <laughs> it is me checking in um for the last time for this vlog so um as you saw i went on a whole trip with some friends um majority of them are the black Halloween hosts <laughs> um and i also finished two books so i finished um the group book for nora apothecary which was a plot for murder and then or the plot is murder and then i also finished a Spell for Trouble by Esme Addison, which I gave 3.5 stars. I thought it was pretty decent and pretty cute. I definitely am intrigued to try like the second book and see what else I would like or continue on in the series and see if I could like it. Um, I liked that it had the fantastical element. I liked that they were like mermaids, assumingly black mermaids because you don't really see that often within those retellings. So I really liked that. Um, and I really liked the family element in this story as well. So, yeah. I think I am a cozy mystery girly. I obviously have one more book for my TBR to finish. But I will just finish that not in this vlog. And go from there. So hopefully you all enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing us all be together and just exist and everything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching if you watched this far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Black Halloween and October and all your spooky reads. And yeah, you guys are awesome flowers and world full of weeds.